Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're hopping in and we are talking all of the brand new armor set bonuses that were added to the game. We're going to start with Grub Armor here but before we go any further I want to point out two things. One, in order to get sleek on your armor, to get these armor set bonuses, you need to go to the anvil and you need to upgrade them. You upgrade them five times with grub leather plates, okay? Now I'm in creative mode, that's the other thing. So that's why all these are at zero right now. But this is what I mean by sleek. You have two different paths to go down here. You can either choose bulky, which increases defense and durability by 10%, or you can go down sleek, which will increase you by 5% for defense and durability, but it will allow you to get a new perk. More on this perk in just a moment, but for now, let's hop through and let's talk about the new armor set bonuses for each and every armor set that you can craft in the game. So let's go through here. Let's talk grub armor first, I guess. So grub armor, what you're going to be getting, the perk that you get for this one is hyper stamina. What hyper stamina is, it is regens your stamina faster. This perk confuses me just a little bit. Because the way that they've adjusted stamina now in game is that stamina no longer re regenerates slowly. It actually regenerates really fast. So this perk doesn't make sense to me. I bet that this one's going to get changed. That's why I wanted to start with this one. Because now our, you know, the way your stamina works is once you drain it completely, it takes three seconds and then it shoots all the way back up. So... I'm not really sure what this perk is supposed to do at the moment. Let's go through and let's move on to red ant safe. armor. Now, this one was a little bit of a, a disappointment for me. I'm not going to lie. I was hoping that we were going to get a hauling strength increase, but instead what we got was grass harvest speed. So each piece will increase your harvest speed for grass, allowing you to cut down grass in fewer hits. So this goes right along with having grass master on. So it's going to make you one heck of a lumberjack more or less when going through the yard and ripping apart grass and weeds. So really helpful perk, but I was hoping for more hauling strength. I'm not going to lie. All right. So that is the red ant armor. Let's go on and talk the awesome new uh, additions to the acorn armor so the acorn armor th this one kind of got adjusted around a lot so the early stats for acorn armor is now threat generation so it decreases an enemy's desire to attack you while wearing this armor because you kind of just look like an acorn now which is kind of an interesting perk i didn't know that they were going to bring something like this this to the game and i think it's pretty neat but it decreases an enemy's desire to attack you. So that's what you're going to be getting for each one. It no longer has that starting of giving you additional health. But what it does do now is the upgraded version when you go to sleek gives you back that plus to max health. So it makes you have to upgrade this armor to get that max health bonus. But it's still really helpful. And the set bonus is still uncrackable. Okay, so that is the acorn armor. Let's go on and talk the the awesome clover armor because i think clover armor just got a brand new spotlight brought back to it i think that clover armor now is a lot more robust and can be used even more so talking clover armor all right so clover armor still gives you the fuller perk on build and then the full armor set is still moist right so you're still going to have that standard um needing to eat less needing to drink less when you're wearing this armor and the armor also got a boost in defense and resistances. Now, this is only a level six set of armor. It goes all the way up to level nine, but this is now on par with all of the other light sets of armor, making it so clover armor is even more valuable. But the most valuable part of this armor that really brings it back to the spotlight is this perk right here, regenerate. You slowly regenerate health over time. This is the same thing as Scarlet Embrace that everybody loved from from the ladybug armor this perk has been brought over to the clover armor making clover armor that much more valuable making it the new unsung hero of grounded and probably going to be one of the armor sets that a lot of people are just going to keep on themselves so that way they can go over get some static health regen when just exploring around super helpful guys this is really really nice that they went through and added this in 
All right, the next one we're going to talk is Black Ant Armor. So Black Ant Armor, the perks on it have stayed the same, but now we've gotten Crit Hyper Stamina. What this does is Crit Hits increase your stamina regen for a short time. So in other words, if you mix this with Cuide Grass and you swinging a heavy weapon with this armor, not only do you have the thorns, so they're pin cushion, so it reflects the damage back on the people, and you're having Crit after block. So if you're blocking, you're increasing your critical hit chance, and then with this your critical hits increase your stamina regen this is more or less going to be a berserker armor set right you are literally going to get this armor and just fight that's what you're going to be doing fight 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 and you're going to go and go and go and your stamina is not going to run out and you're just going to be a swinging machine so this armor really has become an excellent set of armor as well the only thing is is that the actual defense of this armor got brought down as well a little bit so that's a little bit of a bummer for me but it's still a good set of armor I would have liked to see some sort of grass stacking with this one as well, but I get it not all armor sets can be the same even if they're made from the same species of you know, bug that's in the backyard. All right, so that is that. Now I'm gonna take a quick pause here to get some rest. Perfect, okay, so we're gonna skip over the Broodmother helmet because that's one that's kind of in its own category. So we're gonna go there in just a minute and we're gonna go over to the Antlion armor. Now the Antlion's armor perk is kind of crap to me. I don't really like it at all. I think that this one was kind of a, a bad one, but it makes sense, I guess, with the type of armor that it is and for where it's meant to be worn. But what it gives you is thirst rate. So you get thirsty slower. So in other words, it gives you the perk from that you would get for the full set bonus from the clover armor is now given as a standard here. So sadly, this one is just thirst rate going down slower. All right, let's go over to a lot of people's favorite armor, the roly poly armor. So the roly poly's armor now is it also gives you block stun and block strength, right? So let's go over and let's talk a little bit more about that. So the roly poly armor when upgrading, it gives you blocking strength. So what does that mean? Blocking strength is actually allows you to block even more damage. So even if you're not perfect, perfect blocking it still allows you to block even more damage now all right that's the roly poly armor let's move on to my personal favorite armor for look wise in the game and that is my ladybug armor i've always loved the look of this armor and what the perk that you get here now is actually increases the amount of healing you receive from all sources so this will allow you whenever you're using any sort of healing item to heal even more whether it is a um splat burst or not a splat burst i'm sorry a heal bossa you know smoothies the fiber bandages, anything like that that's healing you over time is now going to heal you even more because it increases healing from all sources, including your Scarlet Embrace, which occasionally heals you after blocking attacks. So this armor has become even more tanky and the fact that they've adjusted the resistance levels to allow you and the defense levels to allow you to take even more damage now with this armor is even better. It's going to make armor that much more powerful and I really, really am happy about this armor. Let's move on to the b armor here the b armor this is another one that's it's it's okay if you are a archer okay if you're an archer this actually could come in super handy for you but what it is is it gives you slow shot it says arrows have a chance to actually slow your targets so if you're fighting something that's far away you start shooting it with a bow you're going to get more time to get off more attacks because there's a chance to slow the enemy and make it so they're not moving as quickly when they're coming at you to attack all right, let's move on to spider armor. Spider armor here, the, this gives you poison damage plus. So it increases the amount of poison damage of all poison effects caused by you. I don't know why it's here three times. That's not supposed to be here. It's supposed to be times three. That'll get fixed. Let's face it, guys. It's public test. But this armor set here now makes you a poison master. So if you are using the spider fang dagger plus this armor, you are going to be dealing a massive amount of poison damage. Or if you're using a poison arrow, you're going to do a massive amount of poison damage now probably on par with broodmother poison damage so a lot of poison damage getting added by wearing this armor set sadly we did not get the quickness added back with this armor it really does bum me out 
All right, going on, we're going to skip over the Firefly headlamp as well and go on to Koi armor, and then we're going to start talking individual pieces. So Koi armor, what this one gives you is parry stun, so perfect blocking and te enemy temporary increases the stun damage that you deal, meaning if you hit somebody with a spear after perfect blocking, there's a more of a chance of actually stunning the enemy instead of just doing standard attacking damage to said enemy. So allowing you to actually stun so the enemy cannot attack you back makes this armor even better. It already had the perfect block on here, so it extends the perfect block timing window, and it already had dazzling repose, which enemies after you perfect block are filled with self-doubt, meaning you can actually hit them harder one hit right after you perfect block, and now that one hit after you perfect block could also stun the enemy making you that much more deadly with this armor set and it still is a light armor set with a good amount of defense okay so let's go on and let's talk individual pieces of armor and what we're going to start with guys is the bubble helmet a bubble helmet gives you hyper stamina hyper stamina is just regaining stamina faster the termite armor gives you dust cloud so dust cloud is a melee attacks have a chance to release a cloud of sawdust slowing the enemy around you so that one's pretty cool and the fin flops also give you um sprint distance so this is going to allow you to sprint even further while wearing the fin flops allowing you to travel further distances by not draining your stamina as fast whenever you're in the water so a good set of armor there the next thing i want to talk about is the eye patch the eye patch this is going to give you threat generation and also it's going to so this is it this is the threat generation one so it's going to decrease the amount of threat that you are producing the marksman cap increases crit energized for the bow what that means guys is if we come over here and we look at what crit energized for the bow means it means critical hits provide you with an instant stamina boost every time you hit a critical hit with your bow meaning shoot them in the eyes and you'll get critical hits all the time all right now this one's kind of a bummer the gas mask i know a lot of people are probably really excited about the gas mask sim what does the gas mask special perk is and the answer to that is it does not have one it does not have one. It can only go down the bulky path right now. You cannot upgrade this any other way than just going down the bulky path. All right. So the gas mask or the guild tube um, gives you hyper stamina as well. The might helmet gives you hyper stamina. Or I'm sorry. It gives you stamina regen delay. That's what it was. It gives you hyper stamina and Stamina regen delay, what stamina regen delay is, the stamina regen delay right now is on average 3 seconds and it increases depending on the type of armor you are wearing and if you are thirsty, but with this helmet it will actually decrease that stamina regen delay. The aphid slippers got even better guys, the aphid slippers now not only give you the quickness but they also increase your sprint distance now as well when upgraded all the way, alright, and that is generally all of those ones that are in my inventory. Let's talk the, the Firefly Headlamp. It increases Peblet Harvest Speed for you. Standard Firefly Headlamp allows you to mine faster. It makes sense. And then lastly, but definitely not least, the good old Mask of the Mother Demon gives you something called Poison Nova. And Poison Nova is your melee attacks have a chance to release a burst of poison to all living things around you so if you put this with say a couple pieces of that spider gear my lord are you going to be just one master of poison constantly poisoning things doing tons of damage really an excellent assassin gear set now but guys that is all of the gear upgrades that's all the upgrades that you can craft for your character that is every single one of the new perks that you can unlock i hope you guys like this video if you did hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.